Hello everyone and welcome. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn about bindable events in Roblox. In Roblox, you use remote events to access a function that is on the opposite side. For example, a server side function can access a function on the client side using a remote event and vice versa. On the other hand, if you want to access a function that is on the same side, for example, a server side function wants to access a function that is on the server side as well, then you would use a bindable event for that. In our tutorial for today, all our functions are going to be on the server side. But the same applies if all your functions are on the client side. To use a bindable event, first you're going to go to either your workspace or your server script service and you're going to add a bindable event. So search for bindable and select bindable event. This is my bindable event right here. Next I'm going to create a script that is going to listen for when this event is being fired and it's going to connect to a function. So let's go to the workspace and we're going to add a script. Let's rename our script to print hello. So basically, we're, got, we're just going to print hello. In our script, first we're going to declare our bindable event, local bindable event equals to game dot workspace colon wait for child event. To listen for the bindable event being fired, we're going to come down here, we're going to say bindable dot event. Once we get the signal, we're going to connect to the function. And our function is just going to print hello. And now I'm going to go to my service script service, where I'm going to fire that event. So we're going to add a script. Let's rename it to server script. In our script, we're going to declare that bindable event. So we're going to say local bindable event equals to game dot workspace dot event. Or well, let's do a wait for child rather event. To fire the event, we're gonna come down here, we're gonna say bindable colon fire. And that's all we have to do to fire the event. I'm going to insert a wait here. Wait for eight seconds before I fire the event. So basically what's going to happen is when we start the game, the game is going to wait for 8 seconds and then it's going to fire the event and then the script on in the workspace, the print hello script, it's going to listen for that event. When that event is being fired here after 8 seconds, it's going to catch that event, it's going to connect to this function and the function is just going to print hello. The benefit of using a bindable event is so you can access the same script from different locations in your game. So let's create an example of that. So I'm going to copy the service script here and I'm going to put it somewhere else. Inside my workspace, I have a part right here. I'm just going to paste it into that part. And let me rename the script to just script. And I'll change the wait time here instead of 8, I'm going to change it to 15. Our service script is going to fire the event after 8 seconds. And then a few seconds later, our script from the part is going to fire the event after 15 seconds. So you're going to see hello is being printed twice. The first one after 8 seconds and the second one after 15 seconds. Let's now play and take a look. You can see I have opened up the output window. 
and we're waiting for the first hello and there it is that's being fired from the service script and then we're waiting for the second one and there it is that's the second hello which is being fired from the, the script inside the part now when you fire the bindable event you can also pass in parameters for example I'm gonna start with the service script here first so I'm gonna pass in server and from the part the script inside the part I'm gonna pass in part our function here is gonna have a parameter coming in let's call it n and we're just gonna change this to say hello concatenating with n let's play and take a look hello server another few seconds we should get hello part and everyone, that's how you use bindable events in Roblox.